guys, welcome back to Move a Palooza, Tuza de Tuza. Listen, we didn't film a whole lot yesterday because, Wait. oh yeah, this is garbage. Everything just moved so fast. That and the camera died before it even started. Yes, but I would say we're probably 90% moved. Maybe even like 95. Yeah. Unpacked? Unpacked, no. About five. Percent. Guys, look at our, what's gonna be our Nike shoe room. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. This is gonna pretty much surround the wall, eh? The best way that I could think of to move mass amounts of shoes was to saran wrap them in about six or seven high. Mm hmm So that they wouldn't all tumble. And I think it worked out okay. I I kind of some soldiers were lost in the battle. No, not soldiers were lost. They just definitely were a little injured. Wounded. Is that I most of so the vast majority of the boxes that got injured were my fault. I were my boxes. Yeah. They, I got a little overzealous with the saran wrap and some of them I wrapped like way too tight. Really went to town on that one. I'm sorry. How sore are you today? Just my calves, which is funny because my mom just texted me and was like, my calves hurt so bad, it's pure hell. So I think we just have Hold that thought. calves. Hold that thought real quick. How's it going for you, Keen? What do you think about this, Keenai? <laughs> hey! Wow, good throw. He tossed that and caught it all at the same time. Overall, I think I think he, as any dog would be, is a little like slightly nervous, but I feel like overall he's been like super happy. Yeah, I don't feel like he was near this way when we went from our one bedroom to two bedroom. I feel like the two bedroom was like, eek. Well, I think it really helped having so many people help us yesterday because then it was like pretty much at all times one of the kids was like giving him love. Yeah. So I think that helps. Yeah, for he sure. Wasn't, like ignored. So I, I've had actually a few comments in my Instagram store on my Instagram story saying like will you please film the process? Well, we missed the majority of the process yesterday. So sorry, but you'll see us unpacking. I guess I Had to drive a 20-foot u-haul. I did excellent. No crashes were had did it with ease. with ease Which is good because I wouldn't touch that thing Because if you paid me Yeah that stuff doesn't necessarily bother me too bad, but we got, it was crazy how much we fit. We were going to rent like a 15 foot, then a 17, but it ended up, we ended up with a 20 foot U-Haul, which actually ended up being way better because it said what, a 20 foot will do a two bedroom, two, three bedroom house. Yeah. Well, it said to move two to three bedrooms. I don't know if that means you're moving out of one or moving into one, but either way, it was what we needed for yeah. sure. Yeah, because we did it in two halls, right? It was two halls? Yeah, we got the majority of it the first trip. Mm -hmm. The big stuff, like the mattresses, the furniture. Yeah. And then the second move was like the shoes and just odds and ends that were still there. Yep. But it went good. It did. And on top of that, I'm not going to speak too soon because there's a chance that me and Markel will mess something up. But this couch, so shockingly, made it up. This little corner way, it's a, it's a tight corner. It's a sharp corner. Her brother and her dad got it up without dinging or denting anything. Which is like I was a nervous a wreck. Nervous. Yeah. Because it was. It's a tight. A trick getting that up here. Mm-hmm. So I am proud of them and so happy they were here because I don't know what we would have done. Yeah. Me and Markel went to bed last night and I asked her. I said, "Did you sleep good?" 
<laughs> I don't think either one of us moved. Uh -huh. We hit the pillow, turned on water for elephants, and out. It was a good good night's sleep, but we're both really, really sore. There's so many stairs. Yeah. So my cows are like Eep. Yeah. But it was nice. It was nice to have so many people helping us. We had, so the first trip loading was her brother, his wife, her mom and dad, and then us two. And then when we got to the house to unload, Kaylee was here with Braley, Lakai, Gage, and Winston and Layla. And then my sister Katie showed up with her kids, Lucas, Cody, Riker, and Hadley. So we just had like, it, the truck was unloaded in probably 30 minutes, if that. We just like... It just started and it all was... All of a sudden people, because I tried to give like everybody a little tour before it was yeah. full of crap. And all of a sudden like people are like, where do you want this, where do you want this? I'm like, oh crap, they're unloading. Hey guys, so a quick PSA between that last clip and this next one that you're about to see. We ended up running out of memory storage on our card. So in the process of deleting footage... I must have deleted footage from day one because we realized that it's gone. And I tried to recover it. I didn't have any luck with that, but we're so bummed because on that day one, you we showed like our apartment with all the boxes packed ready to go. We showed um, the, the weather that we were moving in because it was snowing so hard when we started moving. And we also filmed me in the U-Haul driving it. And... All of that is gone and we're so sad about it, which is also why it's taken us so long to post this is because we were just sad that that footage was gone. But we wanted to post something from our moving and so we hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the Movapalooza Tuza. I was deleting all the stuff from baking brownies and then there's nothing. I don't know either. Anyway, so we don't have anything from yesterday. Wow, that's sucky. Yeah. Which it was a very, very small clip that was there, anyways. However, this is Movapalooza Tuza. That makes me sad. Yeah. Is that the one you're switching out, right? Yeah. What Looks the? like it. Oh, sorry. Oh, you I... about got that right up the bum. Sorry, just hit your head. I, yeah, I kind of oopsie, oopsie, like oopsie daisy that donut that you squished the middle out of. We just found out our fridge is coming today. Yay! I was on the verge of going and buying a mini fridge because what else are we supposed to know? You can't put anything in the fridge. But that we just found out they sent us a text today that said we'll be there in 30 to 45 minutes. So. We should be good. And then we actually have to go over back to our apartment today because we had ordered a um, a couch a while ago and it's actually being delivered today. But we ordered it not knowing when we would be in this apartment. Nope. <laughs> in this house. Not an apartment. Nope. We didn't know when we'd be home. All right, guys, do you recognize this place? This is our last night of officially being renters of this apartment our contract our contract ends tomorrow like we've said i think we had like in between getting our house and this ending we had a month about a little over a month so this is we've just finished cleaning and everything so let's just take a nice cute little walk through of this little place Lane. yeah you're not even a little bit sad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Because it's like, like I said, like, when we moved out of the one bedroom, I was happy to be getting a bigger apartment. But I still, like, was sad about the one bedroom. Yeah. And so I thought, like, maybe I'm just not sad because we got a house. And I think that's part of it. But Absolutely. I'm also, like, I just am You not... never liked this apartment. Mm-mm. I don't know what it was, guys. I don't know. I just didn't like. I didn't connect to it. Which it, know. which it's funny, and I don't know if we've mentioned this in the vlog before, but your sister one time, Kaylee, asked like, did when we it was around the time we moved here, or maybe a year after living here, 
she had asked, she's like, what felt more like home, the one bedroom, or now that you have more space, does it feel more, and both we of them. We had lived here for a while. Yeah. I think we'd been here for like at least a year. Yeah, I think it was at least a year, but. And she was like, what felt more like home, the one bedroom or the two bedroom? And I said, we, I don't know why, but the one bedroom. We both said one bedroom, and she said, you can tell. She, you could tell by, I guess, our videos and stuff like that, that the one bedroom, for some reason, just felt, we were talking about it earlier, more of like a hangout apartment, and like we had friends over all the time in there and that, and like had parties, and it was just more, I don't know how to explain it. It sounded really dumb too, but like it had an awesome view, like the balcony, we were always on the balcony because like... I mean, if we you watched. guys have watched the vlogs long enough, you guys have seen the, ba the balcony yeah. and the view we had. Like, the building that we were in first, I think it was one of the last ones that were completed in this complex. So the one bedroom, or the, yeah, the one bedroom was, like, a little bit nicer than this it one. It was really nice. It didn't have as much carpet, and then the view was just, like... Yeah. So, I don't know, it sounds so dumb. I do, it doesn't even make sense when I say it out loud, it's just, like, the feeling. Yeah. They well, came with it. And I think as well, I think when we moved in, and I don't think we've ever talked about this, it started out on a really bad foot. Yeah, I did. When we moved in, it was a holiday weekend, and from what the sound of it, we were told they, so they have the cleaning crew come in and do all of the, from the last residence. But before we got the keys, the management never actually walked through it beforehand so when we got the keys and we walked in which there is a vlog of moving day but as time went on like we had paint all over our fireplace we had pee in our toilet <laughs> one and then there was one day we were well we were putting our shoes away in our shoe room and I have a freaking bloodhound nose I can pick up the scent of dog urine like so quick so we were sitting on the floor and I just was like <sniffs> and then I put my nose to the floor like a bloodhound <laughs> and was like there's dog piss right here I was like smell it yeah I remember it clear as day being like no way and you were like because I think we both said like does it smell like dog pee? Like, we thought that maybe we were being, like, um, paranoid? Or, I don't know. Because we'd move and be like, no, I don't think so. And then it, we sat down to, like, do things. And that's when you were like, smell right here. And I was like, no yeah. way! So, like, it, and it was in every room. And when they, they brought out carpet cleaners, we had moved everything in here. And they did clean the and carpet they did before clean. we moved in, but then like we brought this up and so they cleaned it again and it yeah. was still it, like... Eh. It clearly needed replaced. Yeah. And I mean, look at it, which this is after three years of us too, but like it never looked nice. Like our no. carpet in our one bedroom, in the bedroom, new. was nice and new and fluffy and yeah. awesome. This was like matted and sucky from the start. And I think that that, I think that that just like always sucked. Yeah. yeah. So like they brought the carpet cleaners, professional carpet cleaners out. They cleaned our carpets and the smell never went away. So I think it was just that this place started off on the bad on a bad foot yeah. with everything. However, I will say because I feel like I'm way more sentimental, I am sad. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> like I just clearly I want to be in our house and I'm so happy in our house and I'm like, can see, say see you later to this place. I don't know. It's just, we were here for three. It, it was cozy. I don't. It's insane to think we were here for three years. Well, three we years. were here, we were here in this complex for five. Yeah, but to think that we were in this one for three years trips me out. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, as I was cleaning and we were doing stuff like that, this, like, I would stand right here and I would clean and I would just think like, just remember like the nights cooking and like having the TV on and I don't know, it just, stuff like that is what I'm like sentimental about. It's just remembering of like cooking dinner and being right there and being able to, I mean, 
we clearly can still watch TV from our kitchen right now, <laughs> even probably better than we could here. It just was like very like small and cozy and yeah. And I, I like that feeling. We'll never have like the intimacy, small. I guess, intimate. We will. It's like the, I don't know, the, the small space, you yeah. know, like everything. Like I was saying, of like getting scared in the house at night. You didn't have to do that here because you could literally step out, look into the whole apartment and know that it was fine. Yeah. So it's like, we'll never have this like little space yeah. again. I will miss the complex for sure. Yeah. Like if I could have chose to build a house in this city, I would have. It's just really expensive. Like very expensive. Like renting here was like the same amount as our mortgage basically. Being in this complex for five years is insane. But being in this apartment for three of those, more than half, mm -hmm. is like really insane. I don't know why. It's like hard to wrap my head around. Yeah. We spent a whole quarantine in this freaking apartment. I mean, you did. I didn't. True. I still had to work. But this is officially your last time seeing this. Because I'll come back tomorrow without you. Yeah. I'll be at work. Mm hmm. Well, we. Weird. This might be a really random question for you guys, but I want to know. While we lived either the one bedroom or this one, what was like one of your guys' like favorite memories of us living here? Or stuff we did. Favorite video. Favorite, yeah, favorite video of what we did. That's the other thing too is like we never filmed here. Very often. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I'm hoping that that will change in the house because we'll just feel more in our element. Here it was like, it didn't feel like we had anywhere that was like a good place to film. The one bedroom also had a lot of natural light. Mm -hmm. The lighting in this one sucked. It was very yellow as you guys can probably see on this. Our new house is going to have a lot of natural light. Yeah. Lots and lots, which will be nice. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah.